Today's adventure is a bit different than usual. It's not an official scenario, nor did I write it myself. I was sent this cinematic by fellow GM Dario Lazari. Dead Orbit is an adaptation of the classic graphic novel with the same name by James Stokoe and follows the same events on the orbital installation Sphacteria, where the daily routine is about to be interrupted. Joining me today are some new players from Delirium, a local RPG organization. So let's get to it! Sphacteria, a small island in southern Greece located in the Bay of Pylos, famous for having been the scene of a bloody battle between the Athenians and the Spartans in 425 BC. But this is the year 2295, and you are neither Athenians nor Spartans, nor heroes. You are part of the crew of workers the only people aboard the orbital installation that bears the name of that small island, Sphacteria. Registry number 284255, a fuel depot in transit station owned by Whalen Tutani. Yes, you guessed it, it's a crap job. A dead end boring as hell. The only advantage of working in an area of space that looks so much like the asshole of the universe are that the pay is good and the pain in the ass is very few. So this is where you live. And I have a map of Ooh, the station. Pretty huge. Pretty colors. Yes, it is uh, based on the comic where this scenario is based on. And uh, we're gonna go around the table and meet all the people that are currently working on this small station. I'm Torrenson, I'm the security officer, and I'm drunk most of the time, if not all the time, so, well. That's really the entirety of that statement. Uh, I, I believe so. I am Park, I am the second officer and the counselor. Um, he is assertive and empathic, and he wants to do a good job, and that's about it. I am a son, I am the leader of this shit show. I like all my people to stay safe. I, my motto is work like a strafe, but keep it safe. <laughs> I'm Wasilewski, Wasi for short, and I'm the chief engineer. I am uh, I like to be on my own, I'm a bit of a loner. I, uh, I'm really good at fixing stuff, but I also really want to get off this boring ass shit job of a job. Your days are pretty much the same every day. It's very boring. Until one day, you get a message. Mother starts beeping the attention of the captain. Oh, okay. So you go into the computer room, I suppose, and you get a message that says, approaching ship, ship unknown, course. Not declared. Load. Unknown. Automatic greeting protocol. No answer. Is there something like a general alarm that I can set off? Yeah, probably. Beep, beep, beep. God damn it. Huh, no. So we head up to the briefing room or something? Or I put away the bottle I was drinking from in my back pocket. So. Okay. I push out the cigarette I was smoking. <laughs> <laughs> right below the vent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you gather all around uh, in one of the... Okay, people, there is a ship incoming. I don't know who it is. I don't know what it's for. Let's just get ready. If you can do some additional scans or something, that would be greatly appreciated. I can do scans once we're on board, but should we be on board? It's, I mean... Don't we have scans on our station? Yeah, of yeah. course, but yeah. that's not my prerogative. They just want fuel, right? Everybody who comes by here wants fuel. That's what they want. Yes, I mean. but just in case, they've got something else on their minds. Yeah. 
Why, why sh should we be worried? Is there some can signs you just that's... Listen? Uh, can you just listen to the captain and do your job? Please. Please. I'll do my job. What? I didn't I... get an order? <laughs> do your job. Right? It's gonna take long. Are you gonna I'll like this make sure thing? everyone on board here is safe. That's my job. That is your job. So? Please do it. Right? So if you want to do a scan of right. the ship... I'm, I'm guessing we, uh, we should. It's a comtech rule. Okay, comtech, comtech, yeah. comtech. Oh, Alright, okay, yes, so that's just three. I have no stress, so... Ooh. Ooh, two sixes. Nice. You get a report back on your screen and it says no identification, no registration code. But the history indicates that the vessel was previously auctioned off to private buyer. I got a bad feeling about this. Private Some buyers can be anyone. loser flying a second-hand piece of shit with a broken transmitter trying to get some free fuel. You wanna Wasi bet? Was right. bet? Was he's right. Nothing to worry about, just... Yeah, just... Let him approach and we'll see. Keep it. Those of you who've got arms, keep them on your side, just in case... Always have them with me. Really want the free fuel. I'm not opposed to giving them some fuel, but it's got to be worth our time. Sounds fine. And then I, uh, I quickly go around the corner and have another sip of my drink. Harrow is uh, standing in the corner and he goes like, <clears throat> "Can I uh, remind everybody that we are obligated by law and contract to provide help if, uh, if needed." Yes, but there's help and there's being looted, so they're not answering. I'm just saying. No, we have they to be might cautious. be in trouble. That's what I'm saying. We're out here in the asset of space. The company never cared about anything, and now you're gonna tell us about regulations? It's uh, well, it's on penalty of forfeiture of your shares. So, well, if we know because they're in trouble, but if we don't know, we can't help, right? Well, the ship has been registered in our system, so the company is gonna find out that they were here. Yeah, they were here, but like how Mark would said, they find out they're in trouble help, if we don't even and know? And there's help. We can help them. We can give them just enough <sighs> to go check, away. Go and check out what the problem is. They don't even need to dock. Just we can take the shell and go over there. That's I, work, I, can, get, I right? can get my stuff ready. I can get over there with, with you know stuff to fix their communications array or whatever's wrong. I'll come with you. It'll be a 15 Then I'll minute feel job. obliged to help out as well. That's great. Thank you for doing your job. You're expecting a security situation? Oh, crap, I met Kitty. You never know what you're gonna find on the other ship. Anything's better than a boredom around this place, so... Yay, excitement! Absolutely. I'm penciling in, like, a talk with him because <laughs> <laughs> he's obviously too Not again. for one. No. <laughs> All right, suit up, I guess. Well, yeah, I believe we have suits. Yes, you have so. suits. You have but do we need them if we go by by a shuttle? Not necessarily, but you don't know what's but it's, on the it's, other ship. Is, is it protocol to, to wear them if anything goes wrong? Perhaps so it is. Like the other ship be, might have been breached, so... Like astronauts wear spacesuits when they launch to... Yeah. To survive. If and they... The shuttle gets blown up. decompression. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right, so... Alright, let's do this. Come on, let's suit okay. up. Stats of the suits are on your equipment lists. Yeah. They have a certain amount of armor and they have a certain uh, amount compression of suit. air. Right. right. Can you read them out loud? Armor rating is 2, mm -hmm. air supply is 5, and the weight is 1. Everyone suited up, right? Yes. I'm All just right. gonna give some orders to the guys who's, who's staying in the station and then... That would be Rook. Your communications officer. He's already at the computer. So we're like a skeleton crew, we're like yes. six people or yeah. something. Okay. Rook. Pretty much. Keep what are you calling a skeleton? <laughs> we're calling you a skeleton. Come on, get going. And Rook just disappears to his computer console. Who would be flying the shuttle? Probably you, I guess. <laughs> but he's drunk! <laughs> <laughs> Not officially. <laughs> right, and they get arrested in outer what space I, for DUI. What I didn't see didn't happen, so... 
You're the pilot. I, who, who has the piloting skill? Nobody. I have Nobody. no piloting skill. I have no piloting skill, but no, I have four agility, I have no so I might be the but best choice we have, but I'm drunk. I have four I agility, run. too. There's no do, one. I notice, do I notice that he's drunk? You probably know, because you're my counselor, right? Uh, have you ever seen him? So, so I, I'm, I'm probably going to, to towards the towards the, 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 the piloting scene, yeah, and I'm you're like... Yeah, I'm going to try and yeah. sit down before he gets to sit down. Like, right. and I'm, I arrive at the, at, the, at the pilot seat like, well, well, don't bother with it, and then I'm going to sit someplace else. Alright. Less for me to do. Fasten your seat belts. Wow, two successes. Well, you can make one of them if you want. I'm banking one for piloting because... You close the door of the small service shuttle and you lift off from, well, not really lift off, drift off from the station. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and it's an, an old ship you're approaching. It's, uh, it's definitely like you scanned second hand. And there is some minor damage on the outside, but you don't see any punctures or anything. The hull seems to be intact at first glance. There's no venting, right? So it should be fine, Captain. I don't see any structural problems. The engine seems okay. Hey, Wazzy, where do you want me to dock? Uh, do I know what type of ship this is, being like an engineering type? Yeah, like a, yeah, you recognize the model, so you can point to the airlock, the main airlock. It's a TX-48, the airlock's at the rear right, no, the starboard right, um, at the top right there. Yeah, I think it's over there. All right. Do I have to roll again for docking? We have your bank success, so... I'm gonna use it because last time we tried docking, that was interesting. So, my bank success is gone. I hope this airlock opens. It does. Thank you, Park. It does. You're welcome. Do we applaud? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're those kind of uh, <laughs> passengers. <laughs> If anyone applauds, I'm rolling my eyes. If anybody applauds, I'm like, I know you're all joking, but positive reinforcement right. is important. <laughs> In a workplace situation like this? Right, I'll go first. Stay behind me. Like protocol demands of you. I took a gun. Can I? Is I feel really safer already. Do you say that? I know. No, okay. I'm also taking That's my That's what I'm here for, so. Everyone should do their job, right, Captain? Yes. Allow me to do mine then. And you step inside. I step inside. I go first. I make sure they can follow behind me in an orderly fashion. But I try to to um, emit confidence, to radiate confidence. I'm taking the back just in case something happens. Right. I've got my toolbox. I've got like this basic when big, I, big when, like a, a when, I notice, <laughs> when I notice the captain taking the back, it's yeah, that's right. That's what captains do, right? Stay behind. There, there is no need for lead this. From, re, lead from the, from the back. There is no need for this kind of snark. Just do your job, please. Well, I'm doing You've my job. You've got your job. I've got my job. I just don't want anything coming us from coming at us from behind. From our own ship. Right. Okay. Um, so what do I notice when we're... Um... Well, once you step inside of the, the main hallways of the ship, you see that it's, it's a mess. There's a lot of equipment scattered around. Some of the panels on the bulkhead are missing. And there's cables dangling out. And... Lighting is low, but it's there. There's some light. Sparks from cables dangling out of the ceiling. So it's a violent, violent kind of mess. Not, not we forgot to clean up kind of mess. Exactly, yeah. It's not... There's been some... Yeah, something happened there. So. Are we are we taking pirates, Captain? I was wondering the same thing. Make an observation. Yeah, right. I'll be doing that once I put that just to be home. <laughs> I'm not very observant. <laughs> uh, no success. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's, it's messy, but at first glance, uh, there's nothing specific. So, this is a, a, the, 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 the main uh, There's There's a main like airlock? A, yeah, there's there's a, a, yeah, main airlock, and you step inside, and there's a big hallway that leads to the rest of the ship. This is going to be more than a 15 minute job, Captain. Are we still doing this for free? Is there a terminal somewhere? Let's find some people mm -hmm. first, then the sites. Well, Who do charge sense. for this mess? Can I. I believe try? that would be your jobs. I'll try to keep you all safe, right? I try to get into the computer, see if I can find, like, 
a list of crew. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Make a contact roll. I don't have contact. What do I look like? Can I just roll pure wits? Mm-hmm. No. The stick needs a password. Can I try to do a check out what's wrong with the ship? How how space worthy she still is? Okay. Um what's what's your most observation or mechanical? Uh three well I have three wits. Heavy no machinery. What's your heavy machinery? Oh heavy machinery. That's is that eight higher? in total. Okay, yeah. use your heavy machinery. What? Shh. I'm a really good engineer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently. This oh, is well. <laughs> you want to push that? <laughs> I fuck do, yeah. <laughs> I also have luck points up the wazoo, but a story point. Huh? Come on, Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> yes. yes. A success, two successes. Yeah. Great. You uh, noticed that somebody has patched the ship up. It looks like it was a mess and they patched it up just enough so they can take, could take off. So whatever happened, they were in a rush. Okay. Don't mark your stress. Right. Uh, stress. So it begins. <laughs> Always fun slippery, to begin slippery, with a little slippery. stress in this game. <laughs> slippery, slippery, slippery. Yeah. All right, Captain, what do you want to do? I want to find some people if they're pirates. We're just gonna back away. If they're decent people, we're gonna help them patch it up a little bit more and what put them on their way. Decent people would do this to a perfectly good ship and, and then fly off with it. This is maybe like they suicide. were attacked. Maybe they had little means. Let's just find people like Captain Sat. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. I'll take the lead, and I guess. Okay. Where are we going? Um. Do we have an idea what the place would be that normal people would? Reside at yeah, so like usually when you're in trans transit and it's for a long period of time, you have the cryo rooms and mm -hmm. they ship there near the bottom of the ship on the lower levels. Mm -hmm. um, they also have a mother room somewhere in the middle of the ship and control room. Mother room front. might be interesting to see what's yeah. Wrong let's with go the ship. ask. Let's go ask their mother. Room. Right. You know where the mother room is in this type of ship? Yeah, sure. It's smack bang in the middle, just like with every other ship. All right, then we'll go to smack bang the middle, I guess. And let's talk so to So that would be this direction, right? Uh, yeah, just try not to get electrocuted, I guess, with all these cables. Here. I'll try. I'll manage. And I'll, I'll lead away towards the... I, I believe there, Keep there must be... Keep on a straight line. <laughs> There's ladders connecting the Ladders connecting the, the, the floor. So I go towards the nearest ladder and I, I, I look at uh, Wasi. Mm -hmm. Like, is this the one or... Should I take the next I one? Can, I can take point him the way, I guess. I, I yeah. pretty much This one? Way. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I think so. Okay, right. Then I'll start climbing down. You wait half a minute and then follow me. Put your hands to the side, never on the ladder itself. I know how to climb okay. a ship's ladder. And then I'll <laughs> go down. I just look at Paul. <laughs> I roll my eyes at you. Yeah. <laughs> We're like the parents in front of the car. <laughs> <laughs> in the front of the car. I'm like, don't make me turn the And I go around. down towards the, the, the next level, I guess. Yeah. You step off at the, at the next level, and there is a big gash in the wall, all the way from the ceiling to the floor. And you hear a soft. That's odd. I yelled out, what's so, odd? <laughs> well, there's a gash that says <laughs> I look to us, is that normal? I guess something's leaking. Yeah, gas or something. Okay, we're gonna see. Perhaps Wasi can have a look at it, yeah. right? Maybe can I scan for like flammable gases or stuff like that? I'd say you'd, you'd need a CBRN kit right. for that, and you don't have that on you. But I don't smell anything. No, you don't smell anything. Well, you have your helmet on, so <laughs> you don't, you're okay. not going to smell anything. Oh, we hear through the helmet. Okay, that's that's fine. No, we have comms. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean Perhaps we need a lighter to, oh. uh, to have a look. Okay, Probably nobody make take fire. Take the off, it's going to be louder. Yeah, right. Okay, so I hear a soft hiss. I like, I'll lose the helmet for a bit, or what? Whoa, hang on. We Do don't we have atmosphere here. Yes, you have. Otherwise, you know, wouldn't be able do, to hear anything. Do I have telemetrics about about the gases or around me? Yeah, no, nothing. No, so we are basic, basic. So this could be like completely toxic. Inflammable. 
if that's what I'm worried about. So let's keep the helmets on for now, maybe? you have are like the ones from the first movie, like really bulky. Yeah, yeah, okay. Damn it. All right. Let's keep the, the helmets on for now. Yeah, but there is a there is a soft or maybe a little louder hiss here. Yeah, so but you don't want to. Yeah, I know. Gasping on yeah. the floor. I let's, think. Let Let's look. Let's let Wasi look at it. I stay down and. I look at guard. the gash. And okay, so you're all. You're I'm all looking for down. the origin of the sound. Yeah, I guess. Okay, you, so you there is a, a gash in the wall, but uh, how is the rest of the room looking like? Is there is this a corridor? Is this a corridor? Yeah, it's so just a corridor. Yeah. Okay. So and we two are down there, and them two are... We're just gonna wait until you let us know. I'll look around while Wasing is doing his stuff. Maybe i just out of boredom, perhaps, but... I don't Start believe there's anything... I try to yeah, the origin of the hiss. <laughs> <laughs> I would, would have to push it out of my pocket like this through my suit, and then... Do you have, like, a cable? Like yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I have, like, two, um, two uh, uh, kegs next yes, to my... Really take to my helmet with a... <laughs> <laughs> I have the same thing, but with coffee. <laughs> So now and again you hear all the over the to come. <laughs> um, so Wasi, you check out the gash and it's fine. Apparently somebody <laughs> it's apparently, a gash. Apparently somebody made a gash with a blowtorch. You can see right. it's on okay. the floor next to it. And they busted a pipe doing it. Right. You get minus one stress. Ooh. Wow. Hey, Wazzy, that's a free blowtorch, just saying. I already... That is it a, cut, that's a cutting torch? Cutting same torch. Thing. I yeah. already have yeah, one. Same thing. And mine's better maintained. Can I have it? <laughs> but Anybody want a <laughs> cutting torch? Sure. Sure. I. Do you know why someone would m create a gash, bust a pipe, and then leave it like, it, like this? We're coming um, down as well. Guys, you gotta see this. Yeah, we're coming down. Can you patch the, the leak? What Can I patch the link? You could try, yeah. Or has it leaked? But uh, what you what right. you what you do notice is that there's a lot of pressure on these old worn lines. Right. Okay. Uh, Captain. Yes. The pressure in these lines is pretty high. That's not normal. I I don't know if it's too safe to be hanging around here for that long. I need, I have to I have to look at it more to find out something we can fix or it's something that's really dangerous, but. I'd be uh, careful. Okay, thank or you. Or we can cut the main valve for now. You'd have to go look for it. Yeah. You know where it is, right? Engineering, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, we, uh, where is engineering on this type of ship? Uh, right it's towards the back. back. Yeah. So okay, it's so. further than mother. Yeah. Beyond from mother. wherever yeah. we are. It's good. Well, we'll have to we ask find mother first. Mother first any case. If there's a problem, mother should know about it, so. Probably. Allow me then. Thank you. With a with an ironic bow, and I go Again, towards the corridor towards the mother. To <laughs> <laughs> I'm penciling him in. I'm penciling. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You uh, can also look around and search for items by doing an observation roll if you want to. Well, I picked up the cutting torch. Okay. It has only uh, two power left. Okay. I'm looking at the cutting torch. Does it look like maybe somebody went like in an attacking move and clipped the lines instead of maybe fighting a pirate no. or by way no. of no? Okay. I'm also looking around for marks that could indicate it was a fight with weapons like scorch marks or. Okay, give me an observation roll. My observation is just my wits. Same here. Keep your wits about you. <laughs> Nope. You can push that if you want. Sweet, no. sweet stress. Why do you want us to push it though? Oh, stress. Not, not really. Solves I'm all not your that, problems. I'm actually evil. not too worried because I got my crew with me. That's the evil mother. And I know my crew can deal with anything. So I'm not too it's, worried yet. It's actually, it's hard to make out. Like there's a lot of damage here, but is it damage because it's just a really old ship? Or did they did a bad patch job? Or did something happen? It's not really clear. I still want to know, Washi, why did they, Washi, why did they cut it? Is it might, what would, if why would you do this? Can what, maybe somebody had never a lot to this? drink and did something stupid. Looks like <laughs> someone fell Maybe, so, maybe this away. captain is also a boring arse. <laughs> I don't know if you've had a lot of other jobs, but most of the jobs out here are just... Yeah, most of the captains are We're all here for the money, peeps. 
Yeah. I'm really excited. But that's why I want to know why. In what scenario would you do this? Well, why Your don't we talk okay. to mother, see where the crew is, and then we can ask him. Yeah, but we're we're walking right now, okay? Are we? Okay. Wasi can can tell us, right? You reach the mother room. <laughs> okay. You do not have immediate access, but a contact roll might help you with that. I can, I can, I've got four. Or you can lend me your blowtorch and I'll blow it open. I've got also, let's not make it worse. <laughs> I do not have contact, I cannot help you. You have an electronic key? I have an electronic key, but it's only for our own yeah. station. Mm. That makes sense. Do you have that contact? makes sense. I have a little bit of contact. Yeah. I mean, same as me. You can help him. You can add a die. I can help you, you can help me. Whatever gets you the most yes. dice. How, how hands on of a commander you are. <laughs> 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 so. I, I'll help you. Is that an extra die? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. It opens. Okay. It opens. Wow. And you sit at the computer. Not that useless, am I? <laughs> well done, Captain. Never called you useless. Just boring. Everything here is boring. That's, that's As long as it's safe, I'm happy to be boring. All right, so we're in Mother. Yeah. Does does Mother light up, or is Mother dormant, or...? No, she lights up. It's uh, automatic if you enter the room, the lights you can... Is there a chair? There is a chair. I angle the chair. The I sit down, and I just ask Mother... Yeah, make me another contact roll for that. Just to see how much information you're gonna... Nope. You can push that. I, 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 this, this I would push. Yes. <laughs> oh, this will go south fast. I am introducing myself to Mother. I'm saying, Mother, I am Captain Hassan of the Spaceship Space Spectaria. Yeah, I call it Spectaria. I call it Sphincteria. Probably, yeah. Asshole of the universe. Asshole of the universe. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm very polite to mother. <laughs> and text rolls over the screen. It says that the vessel is registered as a container transport. Oh boy. Two containers are currently attached to the ship. That is something you've seen from the outside. The crew consists of eight people. And the last cargo were unmarked crates to be delivered to a distant frontier colony that you never heard of. Unmarked grades, spaceship without... Are these smugglers, you think? Are you asking mother? <laughs> I'm asking you guys, I'm not asking. Well, they're in trouble, that's the most important thing. You can also glance that the payment was made in Chinese yuan. Oh, not right. something so that... Uh, UPP. Great. Well, we still can't let them die, you know. Um, can you ask Mother? Technically, we can. Stupid? Yes, I was also uh, thinking about checking for life signs if the we eight can. people are still alive. <laughs> well, the last log indicates that the takeoff was performed without authorization a month ago. And can I get life signs from the cryo rooms? Are there still people there alive? There are people in the cryo chamber yeah okay they're doing good so that's that um, then I'm gonna ask that's mother what the reparations which reparations are needed to get it back on track or to not make it explode or to not make it explode <laughs> <laughs> I just want it out of here as fast as I can so. you're gonna need to do a major overhaul of most of the piping and the engines because it's obvious that the, peop the ship is not doing well with the pressure. They patched it up really bad. It's, but this is an enemy ship, technically. You're not sure. Right, okay. but enemy probably. Ship. So we. Okay. Is there a way to contact their bosses and let them know? Maybe we should contact our bosses first to tell them that we've found a drifting. I'm UPP was. ship yep. with some cargo that's unmarked. And just let them hang out here until we've got more information. Maybe we should sh secure the ship. Can Harrow is 
at the edge of the door is like, are we not going to look for the people? Yeah, I was just wondering, Mother, how critical is the ship? Mm. Like, do we have to move the people off for their own safety? Or not, not at this point. Not at this the point. people being us, or? Well, <laughs> yes, but also. We are the people, yeah. yeah. We are the people. The yeah. people. I must also stress that we are also company property, so we must preserve our own, ourselves as well. Is that why you are constantly adding alcohol to yourself? Yeah, as a absolutely. preservation. Okay, cool. That's, that's Is there a way for, for me, me to right? use this mother to contact no. base? No, you'd have to go to the communication deck. I'm gonna check out the people if nobody yeah, I, I wanna I wanna check out engineering to make Maybe sure that the ship doesn't explode on us. Perhaps so to make it safe mm -hmm. to you know, to buy some time basically. Yeah, let's just do that. I think that's the best course of action. We preserve ourselves, we preserve the people on board, so we go towards the engineering room and try to save the ship first, and then we can see whomever is alive still. Alright. We can well, we can right. we can save them as well. I if they need saving. I'm useless in engineering anyway, so I'm gonna check out. I stop people. listening after three words, so. Okay. So we split up. Split up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Always a good idea. So you have to split up. You continue on on the same deck towards engineering. When you get there, there's a lot of hissing and pressure. It's very warm in there, mm -hmm. so you in your suit start to notice it um, maybe pretty like fast. The temperature gauge. Yeah, in the, the fan on the back uh, starts whirring very loudly, <laughs> and you can see that it's uh, it's on the it's on the brink. It's mm. it's managing, but okay. Again, they did a patch up job to take off, and 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 what's the problem exactly? It's overheating. It's uh... yeah, the pipes are way too old and they're pushing the ship way too hard. Okay, well can I can I shut down the engine or shut down the power plant? Yeah, you can, uh, you, but you have to be very careful because if you shut down the core, you're gonna shut down all the power. Including cryo. Yeah. Because we, we're wearing suits, so basically that's... You're, you will probably be fine. We'll be fine, but these UBP treacherous fucks Maybe won't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know if they're you people. Even if you're gonna steal people. <laughs> yeah, of the power hey. of deduction. So maybe <laughs> I should check with the captain first. Yeah. No assumptions, okay. please. Only so I, I talk to the captain over the comms. Captain, uh, this reactor is uh, it's gonna go critical sometime in the near future. Yep. So uh, if you want to save some people, I suggest you make a move. Okay. Because uh, I want to, I really want to shut this shit down. Uh, but if I shut it down, then Cryo will lose power. Okay. We'll uh, we'll see if we can pull them out of Cryo just to keep them safe. They might be mad about it, but we'll st we'll save their lives. Yeah. Just just make it quick, because we'll be a cloud of vapor real soon if you don't. On our way. You also have to take inco into consideration there might be one person who is not in Cryo right now. Is it normal for a skeleton, skeleton crew to be awake during travel? Would I know that? It, it happens, yeah. If you, if you do really long trips, from time to time you're gonna wake somebody up just to make a check of the ship, do some repairs if needed, and then go back to cryo. Okay. If he, if, if he or she was awake, they're probably asleep uh, again right now, so... Alright, okay. You should have asked mother who was awake last. Well, when you enter the cryo chambers, it's like an eight-sided room, all white walls, and there are eight cryo tubes, but you can see only three people in them. Ah, shit. There's two men, apparently twins, and a woman. And the machinery that's feeding these cryo machines is the same as everywhere really under pressure. They're rattling a little bit and there's some steam hissing here and there. Are there like name tags? Do we know which one is the captain? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, the woman is apparently highest in rank. Wait, this one up? Okay. Do I need a comp tech role to wake up or is this like just standard fare for all us folk? No, you can try to start waking them up. Okay, I'm gonna try and wake up uh, the captain. An alarm goes off the moment you touch Cryo too. Oh, come on! And you see the life signs of the three people 
drop. Wazzy, okay. help okay. now! I'm, I'm rolling That's connection plus also. one stress for everybody in the room. Oh, yeah, it's going room. good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I still go like, Wazzy, help! Cryo chambers now! What did you do? What did you do? I touched it! God damn it! <laughs> I'm starting to help and, and try to pull out the two men. So I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I beeline it to the uh, cryo chamber. I'll, f I'll follow you around then. You're trying to, to, to open the thing up and like you hear a pop, pipe bursting mm. and fluid starts coming into the cryo tubes. Then the just from anyway, the I'm just going to use my violence. My <laughs> the, I have a cutting tool. Yeah. I, have, I have the butt of my pistol. I'm just. I'm going to I'm ram cutting it open. One. I'm using my cutting tool. What's the torch? risk of just getting like? Opening up a cryo tube and pulling someone out. Well, it's either that or they drown at this yeah. point. Using Those the cutting the three tool. people at this point, they wake up and they immediately start panicking. Okay, oh. I'm mean, trying to use everything I have to cut okay. it. So, if you come try to use the cutting torch, that's a heavy machinery, and I think you get a bonus for the cutting torch. And if you uh, try to hit it, it's going to be a close call. I think I, I'm, oh, come I'm on. going to I'm going to hit it with the butt of my uh, my. Um, Armat 37A2 pump action. Yeah, I, we were following them. Uh, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm on my way. Oh, just, or, just, or we are on our way. Yeah, okay. um, All right. That's what I do once I start. Once we Don't end. just hit it with stuff. I okay. check over one the success. Comes. Too late. <laughs> and one success. So you break the glass bubble and steam shoots out. Apparently, that liquid that's going in there is boiling hot. Ooh. Nasty. Yeah. You pull the woman out. She, she seems to be fine at first glance. She has some, some minor burns, but the twins are screaming in agony. But Do we have time I to was, go to I was doing one of the twins. I was uh, going. Yeah. I was uh, doing other two. Yeah, so the third tube is still closed. Are they gonna try yeah, to yes, we're going to try again. Yeah. When would we arrive? I think we burst into uh, the room after, as they after are this roll you will arrive. Yeah. And we can help if we need to push that because it's, it's, another it's a person. Time. It's a person. That's wow. like, oh. that's, okay, so hang on. I have to add a stress. Are those successes? No, they're panic. Four oh, minus four. Uh, four is fine. Mm -hmm. But help, help! Yeah, and I'm, and I'm pulling the guy out. Oh, no, I, I failed. So oh, you failed. Right, yeah. that, that's yeah, what I'm, I'm going to do when I... Yeah, okay. At this point, you two enter the room. Are you guys scene. hitting it? I can hear you hitting it. I am hitting They're it. They're drowning! They're probably hitting it off. Oh, what? no. It's also a penny. <laughs> that means you can't push it, and you have to roll your penny. So, roll 1d6 and add... So, it's also 4. Yeah, it's 5. I'm only... I only have 2 sets. 5. That's when I... When we enter the room, I like push you aside, like leave it to me, and I'm going to, I'm going to bash it with my with my. With my uh, Aren't so no. That's close combat, right? Yeah, and you can you have a heavy item, so you can do a plus one for that. The fact that you're holding something. Okay. Three successes. Three successes. Yeah, you bang the glass; it shatters. The liquids. Splashes on the floor. Luckily, you're in suits because you can you can feel the heat on the bottom of your soles. I like grab them by their shirt and like pull them out. In yeah, in those two guys are in really bad shape, really badly burned. The woman is pretty much okay with some minor burns and some red skin, but uh, is she conscious? Uh, she is. The two other guys are. All right, I pick up one of the guys, and I ask you to pick up one of the guys. Yeah, I, I have them okay. on the shirt. Like we'll bring these two to the med. You know, I, I'm guessing we have a med bay on our. You have a med bay on your station. Yeah, yeah. that's that's where I'm going. And there's an auto dog there, so you can. Okay. Um, is there a lift as well in this ship, or is it all by 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 stairs? It's okay. a smaller ship, so it's okay. probably, all, probably stairs. all stairs. Then I, yeah, we need to we need to get them up, so yeah. that won't be easy. I'm gonna go shut down the the reactor. At this point, I'm gonna need you all to make an air roll. Yeah. So. And it's just five because we got five. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Sixes don't give you extra air, I'm guessing. <laughs> no. Hey. 
Okay, so only or just breathing. Only park lost air. Oh, it's it's a heavy guy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's, but it's not easy because it, it's like straight up, like a ladder. Does I'm guessing we'll pass them on yeah. to each other. Yeah, probably. Um, asking the woman, like we're going to the med kit now, uh, med, med bay now. Okay. Was he's going to shut off the shut off the power because this boat but is gonna blow? Where is the rest of the crew? Like maybe. Are there any other people alive on the ship? Because no, no, we're all we're all that's left. Okay. okay I'm gonna shut down the reactor, right? Beeline it back. Uh, God damn wouldn't it be prudent room? to steer <laughs> it a little bit away from our station first? Pardon? Wouldn't it be prudent to steer it away from yes, our is station it first? Is it on course to our station? It's not towards the station. Okay. Oh, right. it's just it's passing drifting by. by. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just shut everything down. Just shut everything down. You walk into the engine room and there's steam everywhere. God damn it. Yeah. But I'm so, a professional. Yeah. So I know what to do. It's a minus three. Machinery. I okay. fine. This is fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I, I constantly picture that dog in the yeah, burning it's house. Fine. It's fine. Push it. It Push is it. not fine. Push it. Turns out Push it was not real fine. Good. Uh. If the push fails and I roll a panic, can I still use my story point? Yeah. To roll, to change one of the dice to a success. Right. Okay. Right. right. Yes. Success. I have a success. So through through the mist on my visor and so you see lights, noise. Start turning wheels. Lessen the pressure. The uh, closing uh, valves strategically. But you see that. Uh, might not be enough. It might not be enough. Yeah. Okay. The pressure is still building. You're gonna need to get out of there. Okay. Guys, you have to go. This, yeah, this they're already beyond trying, repair. Trying to we're lifting them into our ship, into our. Yeah, we're tr first trying to get them up the staircase, and then. Yeah, how are we faring with that? We're trying to get both of these limbs. I, I like imagine. I I try to pull one behind me. I, I slowly ascend the ladder, push him up, and then. I think there's two of us. I think we just yeah. hand them over to each other. Yeah. Okay. Or, or are they semi-conscious? The, those do. The, mm. those no, the, the twins. Are they're they're conscious. just. Yeah. yeah unconscious. So you're gonna have to do a, a minus two mobility to get up the ladder. What if, if we pass them to I each go, other? I go up the ladder oh, first, yeah. and then I sure. lean yeah. down and try to. Then a normal I'm mobility sure roll. I'll I'll do the mobility. I'll and I'll be the one uh, trying to to. Um, I only need. Like one person to do right, a role, I'll be, also, I'll be, because otherwise we're gonna be. I think I'm the, the, the strongest think, of all I of us. You might be, yes. We're rolling mobility, right? Mobility, so, right? Okay. Yeah. Mobility and one roll per twin. Okay. Right, okay. Then way. I'll be the one who pulling them up this, because you're the strongest one. Yeah, okay, right. Makes sense. God damn, you're pushing. Can I help? I like, like roll my eyes like. And I'm like, come on, Park, I, you can I, do I'm it. I'm pushing, and, I'm and, and they flop because they're like limp yeah. potato bags. And I'm like, God, I failed. I'm going failed. to okay, go so to the side of the of the ladder, and I'm going to be like the third person. Okay, then you have to do a mobility to try to get them up, because... I roll mobility. Park failed. Always fun to have stress. Nope. <laughs> Poor guy. No, 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 we're taking... That's what we need a captain for. Like, let allow me then, and I'll I'll just on, climb Jordan. back down. You go up, you try to get him, okay? Okay. I'll see you how it's done. And I'm going to... Just put him on your back. Yes. See? This is how it's done. Okay, that's one. <laughs> that's one. Do the other one. Do the other one. And I'll, like, get the other one and try to push him up as well. I want to get a success. I'm on a roll. I'm gonna yes. put them on their back. Okay, now you come up, and I'm, I'm tagging. Um, Wasi. Wasi. Wasi, how's it looking at on your end? I'm, I'm on my way back. This is not looking good. We just have to get out of here. Okay. Right. Heaving one of the. Yeah. They're not looking good as well. You're, so. you're running towards the front of the ship, towards the airlock, and like, at times there are like gas explosions. <laughs> So, red rotating light. <laughs> yeah, you all reach the, the service ship, the airlock, and you have to do a, another air roll. Like, I, I, I'll i be steering, right? 
Are you? Are you? I'm more competent drunk than you are sober, so... Dude, uh, less I, flack, please. I'm We're on a okay, dangerous so situation. That's one. one. Dorison? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Uh, oops. Um, you just lost yeah. air. See, that's what all the talking does to you. <laughs> I'm losing my cool. It's not good, it's not good. Coffee. It's gonna be fine, Kevin. It's gonna be fine. God, I feel... Jesus, what happened to these guys? Well, he said he was going to pilot, but are you going to pilot, or...? I, I'm going to go towards the seat if you want to, to be there. If, uh, I'm not going to fight you, we don't have time for fighting, so Yeah, so I'll Guys, get out of here, right. the shit's going to blow. Uh, right, that's... Um, let's go, let's go! Let's go! Piloting is far from me. Do you have stress? Nope, I don't have stress. How do you not have stress? <laughs> I didn't do anything, I just kept cool. So, but I'm going to push the now? piloting role. Um, because I believe it would be necessary to get out of here yes, ASAP. Yes. And that's a success of my stress senpai. So, okay, one like, success. Like you tried to take off on a like, it's in park. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> leave me, okay? You take off again and you fly towards the space station. The two, the twins are lost consciousness and. But yeah. all the flopping around with yeah. the letters probably, yeah. Didn't help. <laughs> Good that they didn't. <laughs> well, it was either that or giving them an unexpected. And the woman is kind of hyperventilating in one of the seats at the back. <laughs> hey, Torrenson, <laughs> can you warn our people that we have casualties incoming, please? Already did, Captain. Thank you. Uh, More flying, less talking, please. The smell of the food actually wakes them up and they both start eating. Okay. Like they seem really, really hungry. Okay, I try to calm them down like there's plenty of food. And they start convulsing. Harold! Can you help me hold them down? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. And I try to... to yeah, so you try to force them down but and blood patters on your face. 